Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about this beautiful 2017 Lexus GX460 that we have for sale. We uh, took this one in on trade, some of our nicest pre vehicles coming on trade. This GX460 is no exception, one awesome luxury SUV, amazing build quality. These are built and assembled in Japan. Uh, very reliable vehicles. I've seen plenty of these come in trade over the years with miles on them. I've seen the, some of these with older ones with well past 200,000 miles still running great. I've been in the car business a long time, 20 plus years, so I see vehicles coming on trade in various states with high, low mileage, but uh, I've seen plenty of these GXs come in trade, some of well past 200,000 miles, and they just hold up great. Uh, you know, it's not a scientific fact, but it's my opinion that these probably hold up, in my opinion, better than a lot of other vehicles. If you're the type of person that wants to keep, uh, you know, a, a vehicle past 100,000 miles, drive it into the ground, you know, this is something that has a good chance of going 200 plus thousand miles. These are just very, very well constructed vehicles, well engineered. Uh, Lexus just has amazing build quality and durability, especially the ones made in Japan. Not all Lexuses are made in Japan. Not all Japanese brands these days are made in Japan, but it's my belief that still some of the best uh, gasoline powered cars are built and assembled in Japan. And if you have any question about it, just look in the VIN number. If the VIN, VIN number begins with a J, that means it's built in Japan. All right, so the original build sheet on this one, it's a clean Carfax vehicle from the West Coast, uh, two previous owners. Uh, obviously these comes with a lot of uh, standard equipment, but this does have a few optional items on it. Uh, it has the uh, blind spot and rear cross traffic alert, that was $800. Uh, headlamp washers was $100. Then we have the premium package, that was a $4,445 option package, bundling lots of nice uh, features like uh, upgraded uh, split six spoke LA wheels, LED fog lights, rain sensing wipers, windshield uh, de-icer, uh, leather trim seats, mahogany wood trim, heated ventilated front seats, heated outboard second row seats, uh, three zone automatic climate control, um, and then we have the mahogany wood and leather wrapped trim steering wheel, and shift on, that was $310, and the tow hitch with ball mount, $654. Of course, you can print you out a copy or email you one so you can peruse it yourself. Uh, the one nice thing about the GX is that this is a true, uh, you know, uh, off-road design vehicle. Well, you know, there's a lot of uh, crossover SUVs, which basically are cars and trucks clothing. They're built on unibody architecture. They're basically, you know, like all-wheel drive cars with uh, truck-looking bodies on them. But if you look down in the nuts and bolts, it's not that much different than a, you know, a, a, a sedan <laughs> that they share their platforms with. So a lot of those vehicles are okay doing, you know, going on maybe some beat, beat up dirt or gravel roads, but that's pretty much it. This is a different story. This is a real, uh, you know, true uh, off-road vehicle. Obviously, if it spends all its life on-road, it drives beautifully on-road. But if you take it off-road, this has some real deal off-road hardware. Um, you know, you have a great uh, four-wheel drive system. Um, you have uh, great ground, cl ground clearance. You uh, have uh, really uh, good departure and arrival angles. So. Um, you know, maybe you wouldn't take this rock crawling like a Jeep Wrangler, but this thing is capable and people do set these things up for some serious off-roading and they're more than up to the task. All right, so we have 59,017 miles at the time of making this video, about average mileage for 2017. Most people average about 12 to 15,000 miles a year. Nice, comfortable interior. These things are just so smooth, so quiet, so well engineered. Sometimes, uh, you know, vehicles have a tendency, uh, as they get older, they can, you know, develop squeaks and rattles. I notice with Lexuses, they don't seem to be, <laughs> they don't seem to fall in that category. Um, even ones with past 100,000 miles, if they're taken care of, they look and run ju just as nice as um, when they have 20 or 30,000 miles. And that is not the case for all vehicles and all manufacturers, but Lexus, they just have that uh, magic formula with their vehicles. And, you know, I, you know, obviously you could probably, you know, Find faults on this one. Maybe there's a competing vehicle that might have some better specs or whatever. Uh, you know, maybe they might say the styling might be a little bit outdated on this one. It doesn't have the best infotainment system. Well, which might be true, but like I said, if you want something that's going to, you know, go the extra mile, something that you can keep a long time, go, you know, 150, 200,000 miles, you want to keep it, pay, pay it off, and still have a vehicle that's capable and reliable, well, you're your, your odds of having a vehicle like that are a lot better with something like this, a GX460, than something with a little bit more questionable reliability 
and uh, you know durability track record and you know don't take my word for it you could probably look on consumer reports and I, I I haven't looked but I'm pretty confident this thing has probably some of the highest reliability, reliability scores out there for for our vehicles in this class or any vehicle for that matter thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video hopefully see you soon and have a wonderful day